So, I felt like making a stupid lamp and that's how it looks like. You could call it the coronavirus lamp or the minesweeper lamp or whatever. Let's talk a bit about how this came to be. You may or may not know Buckminster Fuller. Bucky is known for these retro, futuristic looking structures called geodesic domes. There's a great video series on the history of geodesic domes by the channel Ziptie Domes. Link is in the description, highly recommended. But let me give you an extremely short summary. Buckminster was excellent at selling ideas, but probably he did not come up with them himself. At least not with the dome idea. Don't get me wrong, being able to communicate and convey concepts and actually, yes, being able to sell your idea has an important social value if it's not used to sell bullshit. But credit where credit is due. The important name when it comes to geodesic domes is Walter Bauersfeld, who built the first one in 1924. It was built on top of the factory building of Carl Zeiss about half an hour off where I'm recording this video right now. It was a pretty fancy structure for its time and did house a planetarium. But what I'm talking about here is a derivative of the geodesic dome idea, which is actually by Bucky Fuller, the Fly's Eye Dome. Basically, it's a geodesic dome with circular holes made completely from solid segments, not from tubes and hubs like traditional geodesic domes. Let's talk about this starting with geometrical structure. What you see here is a dodecahedron, which are 12 pentagons. All of these pentagons have equal side length. Now we subdivide each pentagon in five sections and extend their position from the center point of the dodecahedron to a sphere. Three sections from adjacent pentagons can be merged in a single segment. The nice thing now is that all of these resulting 60 segments are identical. That's pretty nifty, because now we just need to make a single small part 60 times and can assemble a full globe. If we just give the patent application of Bucky a quick look, we can see this concept in the drawings. Actual geodesic domes can be designed based on icosahedrons or dodecahedrons or even more exotic geometries. But I'm using the dodecahedron here because it's pretty easy and straightforward to model with just the basic equations from the Wikipedia. Once we've got the shape, we just need to add a few connectors to the segment in the design and make it on a 3D printer. Total printing time was about 96 hours. I got 30 low intensity light bulbs from IKEA and cheap standard light bulb fixtures from a no name brand. Total cost was around 160 euros. So that's a geodesic light fixture. If you like to build exactly this or something similar, links to the blog post and the design files are in the description.